that's how you know it's art. When you just, words fail you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And I did a thing. I did a thing that I, I swore I was not going to do. Shocker, right? You're all like, you do that all the time. So what I did was I bought a Disney designer collection doll. Wait, that's not the one though. Wait, let me find it. Mm. Oh, wait, mm. they're very heavy, they're very large. So I saw her and I said, well, I saw her and my heart went thud. Uh, you know that feeling, collectors, when you see a doll and your heart just does the skipping of a beat and it's all very? I did that. And I did it for the Disney Designer Collection Jasmine doll. Now, here she is in her box. Oh, wait, wait. I really didn't plan this very well. <laughs> Last video of the day, and so... I'm a little tired, but I want to open her. So this is how these dolls come. So this is part of the conversation today about this doll is going to be about how the heck are you supposed to display them if you keep them in the boxes? The box is wonderful, but you see, here's the problem. So when you open the box, it's enormous and you would have to fold these back somehow okay and this is how and then like what shelf is this going on if you fold it back i mean you can't leave it like that right and and then i don't so that's a thing and then the other thing is that my jasmine and it's going to be hard to see this on camera but I'll try, I'll try to show you this. Her earring is on her face. So even had I intended to keep this doll in the box, I can't. So that's a little frustrating. Now, uh, so here's the thing. This is my first uh, Disney designer dolls from this version. I have some other, um, the other ones, uh, I have Disney Design. I don't like that that's sticky, because now if I close that, is that going to make a sticky mark on the plastic? No, I guess not. Um, they come in, like, they used to come, and, and they were in a stand, and they were in, like, a plexiglass thing. And, like, look, this is beautiful, okay? It really showcases the colors. I love the box's background and all of that. And the box is amazingly sturdy and it's beautiful, but it's impossible. It is impossible to display this. You would just be displaying a box. Uh, now this one is designed by uh, Mark Monteroso. I can't read any of this, even with my glasses on, I can't read it. Uh, so, but luckily, 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 there you go. Luckily, they give you, um, so this is number 1776 of 9800. It was interesting, a limited edition doll, she was only $129, I think, on the Disney store. And what's also interesting is I remember like, Chad Allen used to have to like get up at the crack of dawn and wait online outside the Disney store to get these dolls when they would release. But now, um, like, I just went on the Disney store and ordered it. And so this limited edition doll released in 2021 by the Disney store has been carefully designed by Disney store artists to ensure every detail was captured. This collectible doll is sure to be a treasured keepsake for many years to come. So, but I do have my numbered thingamabob. And then I guess this is the stuff that's on the back of the box maybe that I couldn't read. So let's take a look at this. So I'm actually very excited to get her out of the box because I want to see, I just did those other Barbie collector dolls and was, you know, I was not, not exactly, oh, is, does this open? I don't think this opens. I think this is just a card. There you go. It's just a card. 
I thought it was like a flyer, but it's not. It doesn't open. Nope, it doesn't open. It's just a card. Okay, that's all right. That's fine. That's fine. I want all the money to go into the doll. So now I suppose, so when Katie and I were looking at this, we were thinking, all right, there has to be a way to get her out of the box and back into the box in a way that we can uh, see her. And I think there is. I think that we can just lift off the cover. Huh? Ta-da! The cover lifts off. And then we have this. And so we can just fix her earring. Just fix that little earring the way we want it to go and fix this earring. And now she's beautiful. And then I think, yep, this comes out. So, hmm. so we have all this box and then we can go like this. So we have less box. We can display her on the stand, but look at this. If you are displaying her on an open shelf, you can take this, oh boy, somebody was thinking, and put this over it. So now your Disney collector doll is displayed and protected, but without that giant box. Now the back of this looks, you know, kind of ugly because it's got the gingers and everything. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. This is amazing. I might, what I might do is take out like this plastic right here and like see if I can remove that, but then not do anything else here. Let's see. She's beautiful. She's absolutely unbelievable. Look at the stones in her hair and her hair is braided. And then I was able to put the earrings back where they belong. She's got these beautiful like really extreme eyelashes beautiful beautiful face skin tone i love the makeup i want you to see that the earrings let's see if we can we can angle this so you can see that there's see it's not just a piece of plastic there's there's a, a simulated stone in the earring because of course you wouldn't just wear gold earrings with this unbelievable dress unbelievable this is definitely met gala like stuff right here what like what is this i don't know but i love it no idea can't be very comfortable to hug her underneath it uh she is th this underneath this piece we'll zoom in so you can see it she's just wearing sort of an orange bandeau uh underneath that piece and, and then these sleeves are, are just uh, ridiculous and wonderful. And I'm so bad at doing this kind of filming, but I, it, I'm speechless. I am absolutely speechless at the beauty and the quality that I'm seeing here. Look at this. There's little tiny rhinestones here. This poof is just and then this arm that has of course the other poofy sleeve and then this amazing amazing purse it almost looks like an incense sensor look at this tassel with this chain and this look at this faceted chain that make it makes it look like it's almost diamond cut so it just glitters and sparkles oh but wait we are nowhere near done yet look at the bottom of the dress do you see the tassels these tassels are just sort of dripping off the bottom of the dress this work this embroidery over here you can see it better over here <gasps> It, it's just breathtaking. It's, I, 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 yeah, I'm making all kinds of I, I, I noises because it's so incredible. I am so excited to have this doll 
in my collection. I, 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 okay, you see, like, I can't even make sentences, like, I can't speak. That's how you know it's art. When you just, words fail you, because it's all happening in here, and down here, and somewhere back here, but not over here, you know? Um, she's just gorgeous. She, I, 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 I just... Mm. And the fact that the packaging is worked out in a way that I can display her protected. I can protect her, but without that ginormous box. And, and then this all goes with, it looks like a portrait of her, but it's not a portrait. It's her. It's, it's Jasmine. It's Jasmine. And... And, and she was only $129, and you're like, only $129? I have just filmed a video where I spent that much money on a Barbie doll. I liked her, but she didn't leave me speechless. And her packaging sure as hell wasn't thought out as well as this was. I, I just, I just, I bow down. I am, I am absolutely amazed. And I have to tell you, that it makes me so happy that I then went and did this. So we'll be seeing this girl, this lovely young Disney princess in a future video. Yes, mm -hmm. sneak peek at Mulan. And then I got Mulan and I was online at the Disney store looking for a Mirabelle doll and I started looking at this other one and I have to tell you that initially when I saw her design I wasn't really feeling it. I thought she looked a little bit like kind of like a puffer fish or something but then I said well I've spent $129 on Barbie dolls that I hated. So why not go ahead and give it a try? And so I have Ariel too. And now that I know how incredible they are going to be, I, I, we need to make all of them. Is there a Pocahontas? I need to go look. I think I need to go shopping. I need whatever they have made in this style. $129. I am, this is a great way to end my filming today because I, I am, I am, I am so happy and I'm going to bring her upstairs with me and I'm going to put her in front of me and I'm just going to stare at her and drink some tea. <laughs> I love her so much. Oh, I'm so glad I did this. So glad I did this. So glad. I need to clean this up because it's got fingerprints on it. It's got dust. I need to clean it. Mm! So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, I want to hear if you are already a collector of these dolls. Like, are you just as blown away as I am? I apologize in advance if you were not going to spend the money and now you find that you must. But all I can say is you will not regret it. Trust me on this. You will not. Mmm. Mmm. Love her so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again real soon. Bye.